video from the mannequin's point of view. Um, this one's kind of odd. It's where the camera is a mannequin that you are dressing. Um, you could also pull out a measuring tape and measure like what sizes you need and really like take notes and add on to that. Uh, you could play with different types of jewelry, try on different shirts, and just kind of like you are decorating a window mannequin, but it is the camera. Um, okay, I'm going to stop whispering and go to this because whispering is actually killing my throat. I don't know how anyone does that for more than a couple minutes. Um, my next roleplay idea is a fisherman roleplay. Uh, basically, I don't really see a lot of this even though it is such a simple concept. And you can do it in so many different like genres and contexts. Like you could be a modern fisherman. You could run it as a redneck fisherman. You could do like an old man fisherman. That like in any situation. He could be creepy, he could be really helpful, um, he could be just trying to help you, it could be more of a sur uh, survivalist, um, fishing roleplay. It could be like a cyberpunk, more technological fisher, where you know how fishing is a type of, like, scam in that, so it could be, like, a play on that. You could have it as a, just, like, toy, like, you can go to the dollar store, and you can get like the little one that you crank up and you get you have the little tiny fishing pole and it's a game or you could be like you could have like a real fishing pole or you could have a fishing pole that you made out of a stick and a piece of yarn like there's so much real estate that could be taken with a fisherman or fisherwoman role play or it could even be like a, a dad trying to teach his son or his son not enjoying it and the camera could be the dad there's just so much you could work off of just a simple idea of a fishing role play this one, I could not find a good image for claw machine roleplay, so it's kind of like a two-for-one. Uh, a claw machine roleplay, I'm thinking like you are a stuffed animal in a claw machine and the camera's a new guy and you guys are talking about, think of like the Toy Story scene where Buzz Lightyear gets into the claw machine with all the aliens. And it could be really like creepy and that, or you could even base it fully off that. Or it could be someone who's really worried about it and it's a different toy. Like you can make yourself look like a doll, like look up Raggedy Ann or bear pretty easily. I know cat ears have been a thing, so you can really make it your own pretty easily. Um, the other one I had was a carnival roleplay where you are a barker, and I thought it'd be kind of funny for people to try to do barker roleplays while still trying to keep it ASMR. Barker is the guy who sits right here and he's like, come on, you know you want this, you know you want to win one of these fabulous prizes. That's barker. Um, or carny, I've also heard it called. Um, the carnival game operator. So I thought that would be really cool. And you literally could just go to Fix Bay, steal this image, and put yourself right there with a the little editing. I think that would be so fun. Um, my next idea, this has been done. I'm not even going to deny that. But I came up with several different variations for a safari roleplay. One I did recently was with uh, toys as the animals. Another version would be where you put yourself right here and you change the background to be the different animals. 
you could have a really serious awesome roleplay where you're actually given legit facts about the different animals and you're actually making sure making people learn something i know mind blown while they're watching your asmr or you could go really silly with it you could have like the worst reviewed role, uh, safari or you could have like a really in-depth safari and really teach an experience or you could even do like a safari through a fantasy setting where the animals you're looking for are dragons and trolls and imps and that kind of thing or the safari driver could be just a total fool and be taking you through walmart um so there's different it's more of like that explorer feel where it could be a jungle it could be the serengeti it could be um a desert this is kind of just to build you off and give you ideas for different things um my next idea is a army boot camp roleplay whether this be like based on whatever army your country has or a fictional army like the sweet army versus the brussels sprout army um medieval uh role plays zombie role plays that can be done with the army theory i also think just a general boot camp role play could be really fun trying to make that relaxing and be a challenge so if you really like a challenge in role plays i would definitely try that um yeah you could also try to like be a spy or uh, a, an army person trying to redesign the camo look you know and just or you could play off the thing that camo is actually making you invisible and you could play with green screen yeah there's a lot of different options for that you could do anything from like showing new technology to you know different armies where it's like the darks versus the lights mm, you know there's so many different options like a robot army invasion just steampunk like there's so many ideas that you can just work off of this one simple idea oh this one's fun i have not really seen a whole lot of caveman or dino replace at all um so i'll I'll treat them like two different things. In a caveman roleplay, you could have a very simple background. You could make a fire out of like construction or tissue paper and toy the paper rolls with a little bit of paint. Or you can actually do like a match roleplay and like dirty up your clothes and try to do more of a caveman roleplay. I think that would be really fun because all you gotta do is go <laughs> like it'd be more of a interesting thing. You could tap on different things, different stones, different sticks. Uh try to make like a rudimentary sphere you know things like that could be really interesting in an asmr setting um another thing is a dinosaur you could either be the caveman fighting the dinosaur or a dinosaur looking for a caveman i'll focus on the dino for a bit if you're a dinosaur you could definitely do like chewing leaves or eating chicken nuggets i think that would be so funny like you spend the entire video trying to look for meat um, as a dinosaur, maybe you can talk and you're talking dinosaur and you're like, oh, I'm looking for a, a meal, oh, or no big meal, oh, I'm a figure some T-Rex. And you're like, I found it. And you get out chicken nuggets. I think that would be so funny. Or just, you know, make it your own. Um, I think with dinosaurs, you could definitely do so much with. And it's just something that I have not seen a lot of at all. The next one I had was a bank teller roleplay. I think this would work no matter what country you're in, because I think every country pretty much has some form of currency. Or you could do it where you're like a mermaid bank teller, and you could be seashells. You could do it where you're a caveman bank teller, and you only take smooth rocks. Like, there's so much that you can just expand on this, or you can just do a basic bank teller, and you could see taking money. You could do just one person and try to make it really calm and peaceful as you're, you know, counting up money. Counting is a really great trigger. Or you could do several different ones, and you could have all sorts of different, uh, situations like you need to put something in the safety deposit box but it's something um, real weird like there are so many different things you can do the just a simple bank teller role play uh different types of money and you could use fake money you could use real money you could count to 100 using pennies oh look you've deposited one dollar like there's so much you could do with this uh this one again not something i've seen too much of but you could do a birthday party role play whether it is the camera that's having a birthday party or you um it could be a mom giving her child role play you could be the child having a birthday and it's like a dinosaur themed and it's uh, or skateboarder themed like different types you could have an emo birthday you could have that really pink precious little birthday 
you could have Karen's birthday. That kind of could kind of be fun. Or Karen's son, child's birthday. Oh my goodness, just imagine. Uh, you could have it to where you're putting together a surprise party for the Karen person and you don't even realize that it the whole time. There's just so much to do and I don't really feel like it is that tapped into it. So, yeah. Uh, I think this is my last one. Yes, it is. So, for number 10, my last role play is a blind date role play. And I can see this go different ways. This could be really, like, sweet and serious, like a blind date with you as an ASMR artist. Or it could be kind of, you know, twisted. Like, a blind date with an old man, but this person, the camera is obviously, like, in their 20s or 30s. It could be a blind date with a goth, and this person's really cheery. It could be a blind date with a Karen or a prep or a um, boxer or sports person. It could be a blind date with pretty much anything like a crafter that literally DIYs everything on the table. It could be a blind date. This could also work though, and I was thinking about this earlier, that if you wanted to do a series of shorts and you really weren't having good ideas for it, you could do like 30 second speed dates and you could easily put on about like seven or eight of these all at once. I mean, I would just look up stereotypical men or types of women or types of men, just just overhype it. And you could go literally 70, a whole month, I don't know, of these in a row as shorts. You don't have to really think of many lines and it would be a really good way to pump out role play shorts. All right, yeah, that is definitely the end of my list. I hope that you enjoyed and that you got some ideas for them. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope I see you real soon.